Hi guys, this is Danny and today I am going to uh, speak about an interesting state management library that I've come across called Recoil. So I was watching this uh, React Europe 2020 conference the other day and an interesting tool caught me. So that tool is called Recoil and it's a state management library for React. And yes, there are already enough state management libraries in React. Like we have Redex, we have MobX, we have Unstated, we also have inbuilt context with which we can easily manage states. Yes, there are so many ways, but still Recoil JS actually caught my eye for one specific feature because this is the most React-ish way of managing states. As you can see, that is one of their actual advertised feature in the React Europe conference. So they say it's a minimal and React-ish way. So let me show you why I really like this state management tool. So at the moment, we actually have a counter component here. So this is a simple counter where I can click plus it will inc increase the counter value from one to uh, infinity and I can also reduce uh, the count. It's a simple app, nothing complex on that. So let me go into the counter component. This is how the counter component looks like. So this is a simple react functional component and here I have a count and set count methods for updating state. So when I click on the increase button, it will call the increase count function and it will call set count to increase the count by one. And if I click on the minus button, it will call the decrease count and it reduces the count by one. Pretty simple. This is how a state uh, internal state management actually works for React. Now, let me add a new component uh, called a counter display component. So the role of this component is to display the count in a different place. So here I'll return some div and I'll add some, some h3 tags. Hmm. Let me just put out the text count, which means it's going to display the count. So now I'll add uh, the counter display component here. So here I am actually trying to display the count. As you can see, the counter display component is not a child of the count component counter component which means I cannot pass the state through props now this is where recoil comes into play recoil lets me create a shared state so I am going to create a state that is shared between two components and recoil js calls this concept as atoms so let me add recoil js to my dependencies list mm. ah, recoil js it's actually part of facebook experimental repository now it's still in beta but it still works uh, I have installed the recoil JS dependency. Now going back to my index, I actually have to wrap my entire app component tree inside uh, a recoil root component. So let me import that root component. Mm. Recoil root. Then I'll add recoil root over my app component. Cool, this is my first step. This is done. Now let me go into my counter component. Uh, first I'll create a shared state. So I'll create a new directory inside SRC. I'll just call this directory recoil. Inside recoil, I'll create a new file. I'll call this counter state.js. Mm. Let me create the counter state. So this is going to be an atom. So I have to import that atom module. So let me import atom from recoil. So atoms are basically shared states, which uh, lets uh, us hold some data inside. So this is an atom. I have to provide a key. This key should be a unique value. Uh, every atom in recoil should have its unique key. So I'll just name it uh, the atom name itself. I'll give it a name as counter state and I'll give it a default value. So by default, it's going to have zero. So let me export this atom. So I have created and exported an atom. Uh, then in my counter component, instead of having to read the state from internally, I'm going to read the state from my atom. So let me import the component from recall. Mm. Use recoil state. So just like use state in React, we have use recoil state from uh, recoil. So I'll just replace use state with use recoil state and then pass the atom that I just created, counter state. So I just created this counter state atom and I basically provided a 
provided that atom to my counter component now let me refresh the page once now yeah it works the same uh we didn't make do much changes here i just replaced my internal state with the recoil atom and it works cool uh we are getting the count but think this is where things get interesting now i can go to my counter display component and let me also bring the state that i have in my counter component here i can uh, just paste that out let me add the import statements import statement for counter state i'll also add the import statement for recoil now i'll just have to print my count here let me refresh the page and you should see that the count is actually shared between both the components and how easy is that so we basically have a central place for having managing our state and whenever we share the state across n number of components all the components will get the state updates in real time and this is also very efficient which makes recoil one of the easiest react styled state management tool available so i'll explain recoil js in detail in my series of videos so stay tuned for my next video and also if you like uh, my tutorial videos put a like to my video and also subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading a lot of javascript and react videos in the future